Hey, welcome back. My name is Literally Dead, and today we're going to be doing a Chapter Corruption 8-10. I'm going to be doing a Solo Mel team. This is going to be the team that I usually pick for doing this chapter. The relics I'll be using will be the Insignia Relic and the Holy Cross Relic. The altars I'll be using will be 10 Blood, 10 Giant, and 5 Greed. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get right into it. Only using one Mel is very important for this chapter because of the Vampire Princess units that straight up turn your units against you. To completely avoid that and counter the gimmick of this chapter, just use one unit. That's all you need. Corruption 8-10 is also really, really easy. So easy, in fact, you can use the Gold Bonus Relic instead of the Cross Relic if you have strong enough Mel. I'm using it here in the guide for people who might not have a strong enough team. And if you don't have the cross relic at all, that's absolutely okay. You can use the elixir relic, the log relic, the spear relic even. Equipment should be pretty obvious. Just give all the good stuff to the only unit available. You know, that's pretty straightforward. This chapter is pretty easy, I can even clear it without needing to summon a single hero. Obviously I can't do this every time, I just got uh, lucky with books and medals, but it's really not far from the truth. If you have good enough equipment, you can clear this with only a tier 5 or even a tier 4 mel. Alright boss time, you would not believe the position I'll use for this boss fight. Nothing changed. 
All right, super easy. You could do this chapter in five minutes. You could even do it in four minutes if you're fast enough. Uh, as I do the bonus challenge, you should subscribe, or I will figure out how to become a vampire in real life so I can suck your blood. I will do it if it's possible. I will do whatever it takes. Anyways, later.